Your father's action then in 1988 to commemorate the bicentenary has had a wonderful outcome so far for 25 young Australian chefs up to 2013. So do you know what inspired him to take that action to establish the scholarship? Um, he was unusual in a few ways, Dad, and mm. I think the reason he got a lot of respect in the industry is because he made, he made money out of the industry, Yes, which is, which is a wonderful thing. And I think that that was partly why he got a lot of kudos, and he felt that as a that, that there was a burden on him to do something about it, and to use some of it to do something to help the industry. I mean, look, he contributed a lot by chairing and creating a lot of different sectors of the industry. I, uh, the IATA Australia and Restaurant and Catering, the Hotels Association. He was, he was oh, critical yeah. in all of those things. Yeah. Um, and Tourism Australia, Tourism Training Australia. He was the first chairman, and when it was not commercially turn it into a success. So that was just part of his makeup. He was a generous guy. Yes, it's wonderful. Yeah, it is. Mm. But he was good at making money, so, you know, that was good too. He was also obviously good at spreading it around. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm fortunate to have seen that too. How do you think the scholarship has been valuable for the newly trained chefs who have applied from TAFE New South Wales? delightful when meeting the successful applicants to learn of the use that they put it to and the inspiration that, that the success has on them, you know, and that's worth everything. The experience that they get, I'm sure, is, is very valuable as well, um, and that's great. Mm-hmm. But I just think that in our industry there are, well, there have been, there are more now, but there have been too few opportunities for people to feel like they're part of an industry. Yes. And that there's a way to actually succeed and get to a higher level. I mean, we talk quite consistently about one of the major problems with teaching is that there's, there's a, a real ceiling there and that you can only get above that ceiling by leaving teaching and becoming an administrator. And I think it's important that it's a different kind of ceiling. It's not a financial ceiling in hospitality, but there's a recognition ceiling. And I think that it's very important that we that our award ceremonies and our our get-togethers where the industry comes together. You know, we, have, we, we should be a, a more outreaching, inclusive industry. So, Stephen, have you got anything else you'd like to tell us about um, Oliver or the scholarship? It's going well. Yeah. Um, it's being managed well. Um, the money's in the fund. The, the, the award that the students are getting is still enough to be meaningful, you know, and uh, they seem to value it. So I'm very keen for it to remain well publicised within the industry, but I do hear from time to time of apprenticeships that that that's what goes on. So I'm no, I'm delighted with how it's being managed. Oh, thank you.